So, welcome back to our EBC Brakes Tech Talk series. I'm down here in Bristol today at our friction factory and I'm here with Steve Payne, our research and development manager. So, we're gonna be looking at our motorcycle, scooter, ATV, UTV, or if you're watching in the States, side-by-side -side brake pads. So, let's get into this. So, today we are gonna be talking about some of our sintered brake pads for sports bikes. These pads are made in the USA and they are made at our American Friction Factory. Steve, a little bit about these pads. Okay, so we've got the two street bike pads here, the double H sintered and the EPFA sintered. Okay, and what are these pads designed for? Well, they're, just, they're a street brake pad, uh, they're designed for uh, superbikes basically. So how will these affect my lever feel? Uh, the lever feel with uh, sintered tends to be Quite, quite abrupt, okay. um, it's not quite as progressive as the organic pad, but you get a, a very high friction level with these. Okay, and are these Reg 90 and road legal? Yeah, they're fully Reg 90 approved, so road legal in Europe. Okay, and does it matter what kind of discs or rotors? Do they have to be new? Can I use old ones? What, what's the case with these pads? No, you can uh, just swap the pads over, Any they'll work on any rotors. Um, Obviously, the EBC rotors would be the recommended ones, of course. but they will work against any rotor. Okay, and running a sintered pad, is it important to upgrade my fluid and change the braided lines? It's not essential, no, you don't have to do that. It, 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 it always helps to do that, um, but no, it's not an essential thing to do. Okay, and what's different with a sintered pad compared to an organic? How, how are they manufactured? Well, these are manufactured at much higher temperatures than the organic pads, and they're actually um, they're actually held together with metallic fused bonds between the particles of copper uh, that, that form the matrix of the pad. So, can these pads be used on track? Well, the double H ones are uh, aimed at the road. The uh, EPFAs are also aimed at the road with the R90, but um, they can be used for a track day. Okay. And do these pads require bedding? And if so, what's the best way to bed these in? Yeah, you're best off bedding them in. Um, normally, you'd say um, take it easy for the first couple of hundred miles, yeah. um, allow them to seat into the discs. Uh, but there's full instructions on the website for all the different materials. Thank you very much, Steve. So if you'd like to find out any more about these pads, don't forget to head to the link in the description. Bike World also recently reviewed these pads, so there will be a link to this video too. Um, Keep an eye out on the channel for the next episode and thank you very much for watching.